Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not a futurologist. I, I uh, can't predict the future. But what I do is I make it happen. Uh, the last 30 years, I've been a change manager, sometimes called a project manager. And the one thing that's always stayed the same uh, is human behavior. And it's quite interesting to see the impact of human behaviors on what the world will be. Now, what I'd like to do, let's not talk about it. I could bore you rotten with my epistemological approach on complexity or something, but let's do it properly. Let's do a change. I've got an idea. Um, it's an innovative idea. It could change the world. There you go. Catch. <laughs> right, sir, have you got it? Lovely. Or, or the lady? Right, chuck it to someone over there. Lovely. Ooh, got, well done, madam. Careful. Now, if you'd like to throw it to someone over there. Gosh, having troubles there. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Right, throw it to someone over there, if you wouldn't mind. If someone wanted to catch it. Marvel. Oh, well done, you caught the change. It's a tricky thing to catch change. Have you like to throw it to someone over there? Oh, it's still scrubbing around on the floor. Okay. Oh, well done. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well done. Now, over there, over there, over there. Okay, now, oh, lovely, yes. Oh, who's got that change? Okay. Lovely. Um, someone over here, please, madam, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, Jeff almost got it there. And, and someone over there, if you wouldn't mind. Lovely. Right, and now, <laughs> sir, sir, can you throw it back to me, please? Oh, this could be intro. Oh, not bad. Okay. Oh, no, let's applaud at the end. That wasn't bad. That was about two minutes. Um, and in the old days, that's the way change used to be done. Someone will come up with an idea, and they throw it out there, and someone says, oh, yeah, that's not bad, and pick it up and say, well, yeah, and I wonder if I could talk to her on that one then. And, and it would move around. It would take time. But the world had time. Nowadays, the world hasn't got much time, and it's very impatient to create these wonderful ideas into reality. What's a half-finished change initiative worth? Nothing. In fact, worse than nothing. Um, I was talking to a client last week, and I actually recommended termination of a project because it was just a disaster. And they said, we can't stop because it will be seen as failure. And there's this human psychology. We started, so we're finished, but it's going to be a disaster. It doesn't matter. Perhaps something might happen to make it look better. And it's quite an interesting human perspective. Now, OK, you took part in that change, and it took time. Uh, why did it take time? Well, I wasn't a very good change leader, was I? I had an idea, but I just chucked it to the nearest person, and they had to just deal with it. Sometimes the change arrived, and it fell on the floor, and people had to scramble around. Sometimes people thought, I don't want to be a part of this silly man's game, and it was like, I hope this ball isn't going to come anywhere near to me. <laughs> Because I'm quite comfortable here. I've got a nice seat, and I'm sitting with my friends. I feel very secure, and I don't want to be a part of some silly comedian's game. And that's human nature. Nothing right, nothing wrong. It's human nature. But we've got to speed up that rate of change to really make things happen and make them change successfully. So here's the challenge. Same people, same order, less time. Can it be done? Interesting, some of the people saying yes weren't actually a part of the game. And <laughs> that's a lovely facet of human nature, isn't it? It's because now the people who receive the ball are thinking, oh, God, it was bad enough, and now I have to do this even more. And, and their brains are going like jelly. And, and that's, again, perfectly natural. The adrenaline is high. Um, but everybody else is more relaxed. Hey, yeah, you could do that in less. Mm. So let's do it in less. So the people who were actually involved in that, please join in. You will get a little prize at the end from young Emily. Um, please join in. I want you to do it in less time. Let's assume this is a new vaccine for malaria. And every 10 seconds that we waste, another 1,000 children die. There's some social pressure for you. <laughs> so off we go. And I'm going to leave it to the people who are involved. Go, go, go. Five seconds have gone. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> Careful, don't run, just take it easy. Right. Have we got everybody? Have we got everybody? I don't know whether it's the right one. Oh. We were the last two. It went like this. You were yeah, the last. I was the last one. You said you were the last. In my words, it was the second to last. It was you were last. No, no. Welcome. Yeah. Right, can I hold it now? Can I just hold it? Sure, sure, sure. Just for, I'll let you do it. Now, something quite fundamental has happened. What's the most important thing these good people have done? They well, they haven't quite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. 
<laughs> okay. Now, they haven't quite organized themselves. There's a lot of, uh, where were you? I don't know. And, but the most important thing they've done is? Collaborate. Collaborate. And what's the most physical thing they have done? Got together. They've got together. And it's not a nice feeling, is it? Um, it's a bit <laughs> worrying. You're out here, and I'm up here, and it's all these people staring at you. And that's another thing. If, I'm, I'm, it won't just stay calm. OK, um, because this is something I find is a problem with change. People are comfortable where they are. They've got the big office, and uh, this stuff, chipboard. Oh, God, I hate this stuff. This stops most change. Desks, offices, the way things are around here. I'd like to change, but I'm comfortable. Um, I was lucky. I, I was uh, um, made immune to chipboard uh, right in my early days. First day at work, um, first suit, shirt and tie. My first boss showed me around the office, and I thought, gosh, yeah, here I am. He pointed to a desk, and he said, and there you are. I said, oh, my desk. He said, stop right there. That is not your desk. And I thought, oh, first day at work, this is not good. I said, I'm sorry, I thought you meant that's where I wanted, you, know, you want me to work. He said, oh, yeah, that's where I want you to work, but it's not your desk. It's not your desk. It's not my desk. In fact, I don't think the company owns it. We lease it. It's chipboard. Don't fall in love with the chipboard. <laughs> and if you can do that to a young graduate or someone joining your organisation, do it. But most people are addicted to this stuff and it stops change. It sounds so foolish. But in my 30 years of change management, the chipboard, the office politics, the who gets the corner office stops most change. Appalling, but true. So these people have left the security of their comfortable seats with their comfortable friends and done a very brave thing, under a certain amount of pressure from your peers uh, and also from me and these dying children, this dreadful way of getting you motivated, but there you go. OK, now, um, the next thing is you're organising yourselves, yes? And are you in the order now that you think you were? Excellent. Do you realise it took them longer to organise themselves than they did to do the project the first time round? <laughs> OK, so are you now in order? Will you now give an estimate as to how long this change will take? Because before it took over two minutes. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Are you all... Twenty-five. Now, the optimist, the pessimist. OK. <laughs> um, and 250% different. That's quite amazing. So which one should we go for? Ten. 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 But if we fail, then the, the vaccine will fail as well. It won't get through the statutory test, and then millions could die. Should we go with 25 and make sure it's right? If we, if we start with 10 and fail, we may be at 14, and that's still better than 10. OK, so we should aim higher than we should. Excellent. And now we're into human nature. Um, and hey, under pressure, are you going to be an optimist or a pessimist? Is there a right or is there a wrong? I've seen both win. OK, so are you going to buy into this? 10 seconds? Mm -hmm. Do you all buy into this? OK. It starts at that end. Starts at one, please. And now this is good. <laughs> this team is now empowered. They're telling me what to do. And I love that moment when I'm running teams, where I'm no longer the project manager. You know, I'm just a part of the team, and they push me around and tell me to go and talk to this person and say certain things. I think, great, I'm now being managed. But a lot of people don't like that, uh, because they like to be the boss, they like to be in charge. OK, so I'll do whatever I'm told. What would you like me to do? Just hand it to you. OK, three, two, notice the language. Just hand it over, OK? <laughs> Gee. And CEOs have got to get used to this. Three, two, one, go! Oh, oh no! <laughs> OK, oh, not bad. Well, actually, that was seven seconds. Not bad. But you see, the world is now moving even faster. We saw all those exponential things. We need to go exponential. We have to do this in two seconds. We have to do it in two seconds. Can we do it in two seconds? Yes. How? How? Ooh, look at this. Now, <laughs> this is interesting. OK. Now, we've now gone from a linear process notice into more of a collaborative scrumming technique. I could go on and pull all the analogies, but I'm sure you... Now, it's all like this, and some people are praying here as well. Now, we've really got close now, and it is a physical thing. And OK, we can do it virtually and the rest of it. And the world is getting closer, but it has to be physical as well. Now, um, where do you want me? You, in, the in, the middle. in the middle. Yeah. So I should come down from my lofty height yes. up here. Yes. And really, I should be in the middle. And really, as the leader of the change, I should be where all leaders should be, is on their knees in the middle. Yes? <laughs> now, the rules are it has to be touched by the same people in the same order. That's so the only protocol I have. Oh, OK. Right. This hand. Well, no, so, so we only want one hand yeah, for each. Well, in fact, one finger would do, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. OK. Uh, 
<laughs> it only has to be touched by the same people in the same order. Yeah. And I will grab it at the end and hand so it back. You don't have to hand it back to me. I'm part of the team now. Oh, OK. You see, you don't even so have to do a handover. So, so, that's cool. Roll it. So when it gets to me, it's roll done. Roll it. Roll it. Just roll it. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be rolled. It has to be touched by the same people in the same order. But, but the way you do that is roll it down the hill. Yeah. OK, so 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 okay I'll, we'll do a bit of rolling. OK. So OK. A bit of group thing going on now. That's all right. OK. Now, anyone got any ideas for them? Sorry? Roll it. Anything else? Hold it. Me hold it. There's an idea in the audience. The rolling idea might be improved on. OK, right. Where do you want me now, then? In the middle. OK, I'll go in the middle. On my knees. OK, are you ready? No, hands off. Excuse me. Right. In order. We'll do this properly. Otherwise, we won't get the certification of the vaccine. The people won't be saved. Are you ready? Three. Hang on. Three. Two, one, go. Yes, well done. Fantastic. Marvellous job. Thank you. Emily, where's Emily? Emily? Emily, we've got some presents for you. Well done. Thank you very much indeed. Superb. Round of applause for you all. Well done. Excellent. Okay. And the last thing I'll say, and God bless these people for what they did. Thank you very much indeed. It's very brave. You won't forget that is as soon as I said it was over, they couldn't help it. Again, this is a human reaction. What did they all immediately do? Went straight back to their security place. Because that's where we feel comfortable. And it's a question, I find, of trying to keep that momentum going. Otherwise, people will change, they'll feel good about it, and then they just go back to their old ways. Change is all about human beings. It's all about nudging the positive side and trying to reduce the negative side, just by that small margin, and then you can move them along and keep that change going. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. <laughs>